I mean, you didn't necessarily wear the kind of, you know, the frilly shirts and the... Oh, we did we eventually. Did. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> but where did that all come from, that, that exuberant for men particularly that quite very camp kind of fashion a very girl well, i think Mike. it was it was the world coming fault. out wasn't it because it was that the whole gay thing was really the beginning of its all uh, the whole liberation movement i think that there was the a program people. on in the 80s called the snoop sisters <laughs> if anyone remembers it was two old ladies that were they used to investigate things a bit like hattie wainthrop in yeah. investigates that and Mike and Bobby looked like the Snoop sisters because oh, yes. their hair was all poof on the <laughs> No, it was a, a typical it photo was... session. They tried yeah. to change a hairstyle. And well, we've had that so we've had that. Let's try something else. And they just buffed our hair up. They're like bouffants, weren't they? It was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, like shirts pirates and, and, and the girls. Yeah. Yeah. It was you were much more man show, Shaky, weren't you? you? You didn't go down the side. I, kind I, of I don't think I really fitted into the 80s, basically, because, I mean, they, they all wore a kind of square shoulders and... Uh, as they say, uh, they were saying there were the haircuts and so mm. forth, Duran Duran, your boy George, your craft work and so forth. I mean, I didn't really fit into it really, I, but I mean, I, I just went with what I liked, uh, I've always liked since I was left school. I mean, I, I, I love rhythm, of, traditional rhythm and blues mm. and rootsy music and, uh, and, and that's what I like, you know, and basically I just went with what I, I enjoy doing and I got a lucky break and uh, off I went.